Welcome back everybody in 2016. Happy New Year for all of you. Um, if you will go to the ABC networking site, you can see that we made some changes. We uh, changed the look and feel. We're using some playlists on the dashboard and we even create our own logo, ABC Networking Community. So I hope you all can appreciate it and really like what we are doing here. Today I'm going to make a how-to video uh, based on a topic called Open Switch, and I'm really enthusiastic about this uh, this community-based open source uh, project. It is driven by HP, but a lot of a lot of different companies are are joining the program, so that's really great. And what the goal of the program is to really create a community-based open source full-featured network operating system. So if you want to find out more information on this project, you can go to www.openswitch.net. You can see how you potentially can how to participate, how you can uh, find out more information on the communication. If you want to even get started with development, they have a full step-by-step uh, -step guide on how to set up, build, and run OpenSwitch. And there is also some information how you can use with user guides, how you can set up BGP, authentication, DHCP. Well, you can see all this information here on this uh, on this on this use part of the website. So if you go back to development, you can see that the step-by-step -step guide is a pretty extensive step. And a good friend of mine, Thomas Kubica, he came up with the idea to make it a little bit more easier to run uh, a Docker image in a VM of OpenSwitch to make sure that we can use it for pre-sales and demonstration purposes without installing all the tools on your laptop for development purposes. So that's what we are going to do today. The goal is that we will end after this video with a with a virtual image that can run the uh, open switch docker image to make sure that we can use docker to build tiny networks so we will make a series out of this on our channel and that you can start to play around for education or for demo purposes if you want to find out a little bit more information on the techfieldday.com slash company slash open switch there are two great videos as uh, one video is open switch architecture overview that will be introed by uh, Chris Young and then you get an overview of Michael Zayats and there is an open switch project discussion and demonstration really good videos to get you a little bit quicker up to speed on the architecture and uh, demonstration of this uh, of this great great project so let's get started here as you get used for me I start with a couple of steps you can see that uh, uh, you need to have some prerequisite, and the prerequisite is to have a fresh install of Ubuntu 14.04 server VM. Then the next step is we're going to install Docker, and we're going to uh, to add our own user to the Docker group. Then we need to log out and log in again to make sure that all these settings takes effect. And then we can to, to pull and run the Docker image um, of OpenSwitch. And of course, then we're going to verify that we can connect and maybe even uh, stop the image and remove the image again. So let me log on. As you can see, I didn't even update it. So there, this is a really a fresh install of Ubuntu 14.04 server. So let me um, now do some uh, steps for installing. So we're going to do wget minus q. This is the command for installing. Let me type in the password. And it's now going to install Docker. Okay, as you can see, uh, it also provides you that you uh, need to add your user to the group if you want to do something with your own user with it. So that's what we're going to do. Minus AG. And my user is Dobias. So that's being done. 
Now can, we can go to the next step, and the next step is that we need to log out and log in. So log out, then we can log in to make sure that all the changes take effect. Okay, and the next step will be that we're going to run the the uh, run. Uh, we're going to pull and run the Docker image of OpenSwitch. So the command for that is Docker run minus minus privilege. Sorry, privilege. Minus D min, min, minus minus name is ABC OPS. You can give it your own name if you want to. Then we're going to do minus V slash sish slash FS C group semicolon sys FS C group. And then we're going to add a space open switch slash generic X. 8664 slash sbin slash init. So this is the command. We're going to enter the command now. So it can't find the image locally, so it will pulling it from the uh, repository. Downloading the image now. It's 132.1 megabytes. Extracting the image so we make sure we can run it. Okay. Now we can see if the Docker is running. And as you can see, it is up for six seconds. So if we want to jump to the CLI of this uh, of this Docker image, we do Docker execution minus TI. It's ABC OPS. That's the name of the uh, of the image. VTI. SH, there we go, and we are connected to the switch, so we can do question mark, we can do show running config, there is no config in there, maybe there is a startup config, there is also no startup config, no safe startup config, we can go com t, question mark, and we can have all commands that are available in this release. So this way you have, a, you have an open switch image running in a Docker container. We can exit it and exit, uh, exit, and we will be back at the command line. As you can see, we can still see if the image is running and the image is running. So if we want to stop this container, we do stop and then ABC OPS. We can stop the container. Okay, it's stopped. And then if we want, we can even remove it. And we don't have an image available anymore. Not have a container available anymore. So really hope you like this. It's a quick way in setting up your own open switch on your laptop. So you can do demonstration if needed, or you can educate yourself. And you will hope to see you next time in another series of this open switch tutorials. Thank you very much.